Good morning everyone. We're heading out today to Rocky Mountain House uh, in the Canadian Rockies, Alberta. And uh, I'm heading out this morning, it's uh, 7.40 right now. And we all supposed to meet, meet up just outside of Kenmore, Alberta at Ghost Gas Station and Campground. Uh, up ahead we have a Rocky Mountains and uh, the trip is planned for about 200 uh, kilometers of gravel roads and the return uh, to save on time we will do tarmac. I hope it's gonna be a nice day. Uh, this morning it's still a bit chilly. Uh, it's 7 degrees so but it feels like pretty frosty and uh, probably I would say it feels like around zero or less because uh, even with my uh, heat grips cranked up on full I still feel the cold in my fingers let's hope the weather is gonna cooperate yesterday it was raining for most of the day today they're forecasting a pretty decent weather but it won't be too warm and uh, the boys uh, are meeting uh, the, we're all getting out of the lockdown slowly in Canada uh, after the COVID-19, it's still present apparently. I don't believe in all that bullshit, but uh, that's what they tell us. And um, they resuming the life back to normal slowly. Let's hope it's gonna be faster than slowly because uh, I'm fed up with all that stuff um, and all this propaganda that with news, news uh, media is feeding us. I'm approaching a little town called Brax Creek. It's just a quick stop for coffee sometimes here or just a ride after work. Uh, if you want to do a short ride uh, in the afternoon after you get from work, that's uh, normally where we head out. And uh, it's close to, well, it is almost in Kananaski's uh, provincial park in Alberta. A lot of animals here on the road yesterday when we drove with the family there's like deer everywhere because you can see the steam rising from the asphalt but it's still actually pretty cold pretty good visibility today we are like 13 kilometers away from this town and you can see it pretty clearly up ahead gonna give her something to drink I filled up my jerry can I'm not sure if the gas stations are gonna be open on the way or what's open what's not open I guess we'll find out I think it's time for a coffee now So we are approaching uh, the ghost gas station and campground and that's where we're supposed to meet with the boys. I wonder if anybody's there or I'm the first one. Let's we'll find out. There is ghost station camping and storage. Uh, looks like I'm the first one. Why not? I guess I gotta charge my Cena. I left it on overnight instead of freaking turning it off. Yo, man! <laughs> of us two, two other guys never made it they, something came out came up for them and uh, so there's three of us where it should be a nice day it's 
warming up right now way better than it was this morning right now we have a 10 o'clock uh, probably about 200 kilometers uh, to get to the Rocky Mountain house I never been there myself so again it's something new for me Robert the guy in the front uh, he's more familiar with this area he's a way better rider than uh, me he did a Alaska trip and he also rode uh, around Europe passing on a solid lane hoping we're not gonna run into any snow in uh, mountains everything is possible that time of the year the biggest rock took him at that speed crazy hope I didn't cut the rim times oh we got some twisties This is the chief of the adventure. <laughs> Fearless leader. We are not leader of today. This partnership. Can I just change my battery? And what did you do today with communication? I left it on. <laughs> Przerwa na papierosa i na herbatkę. Z góry jedziesz czy na dół jedziesz? Od dołu? Od gołu czy z góry jedziesz? Thank you. 
Jedną trzecią drogi? Nie, ja, więcej, więcej. Pada śnieg w Albercie w maju. Nie, nie do uwierzenia, nie do wiary. Takie rzeczy się tutaj no nie dzieją. Żeby w Albercie śnieg padał w maju? Albercie to pada cały rok. Beautiful view! All right, that's a real adventure. It's snowing, we're getting wet. But that's Alberta. It can snow any time of the year. We had snow in July, we had snow in September. is at uh, 2.30 but uh, we will stop for some lunch somewhere you got sun, you got snow, you got rain, wind those corners are a bit tricky. Once we get over the mountains, it should improve. It's actually beautiful. What a scenery! You missed the turn! Teraz zmieniło, ale po... Nie, ale bo to może być do, do Stanchu i potem na pół do Stanchu, nie? A, a tam to możemy dojechać dalej i dopiero skończyć do Stanchu. Okej, okay, bo tutaj też można jechać. Ja. Yeah. Talking about adventure, wow. 1,615 meters. So we're in the mountains. So the elevation is actually pretty, pretty high here. <laughs> nice ice build up on the screen. Oh, blue sky is coming up. That will be nice if we get some heat from the sun again, maybe. doing today <laughs> everybody's good everybody's happy <laughs> Robert, not even wet Robert Kazanowski had a very good idea <laughs> <laughs> that was a great idea for the guy with the gold wing <laughs> no. and that's an intentional drop it's not real <laughs> no that's not a drop that's a parking <laughs> Słabe są te materie.
Tak, ale jeszcze robi się jednak No tak. Yeah, the 200 kilometer trip uh, one way it's turning into a little bit longer uh, I did over what did I do since I left home 260 already since I left home and on top of it uh, we are being slowed down by that uh, heavy snow that we had for a while And for me, that's a first time that long adventure on a gravel road or a dirt road. I did it before, but just a shorter ride, uh, like four hours or so. Still not the toughest conditions for comparing to what I've seen, what the guys can do on those bikes. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I've been riding on the Africa Twin for just about two years in the process to learn. Actually, after all, now the weather couldn't be any better. It's not too hot. It's just about right. It's 9 degrees. No heavy wind. Uh, everything starts to turn green. Nice spring. A dose of fresh air away from coronavirus and the city. Keeping safe distance even between us here. For most part, uh, it's still not all the way in your head, but uh, we're trying to, even though we know each other pretty well, but we're still trying to keep away from each other to be safe. Most of us are, have kids, so. Oh, Rocky Mountain House, finally we see some signs. Jesus Christ, that took a long time. Oh my god, it's still 63 kilometers. Can't believe that. And I'm surely hoping there's gonna be a gas station. Good thing I have that jerry can. Those BMWs, they have a way bigger tanks. So they got a way better range. Gorgeous. Once we get on the tarmac, it's gonna be a time to relax a bit. Look at all these forests taken out. I guess we're famous in Canada for cutting out the trees and exporting them all over the world. And what I've learned already on that stuff, if you're ever riding 
and um, I'm not sure how other bikes are, bikes are performing but uh, Africa Twin with the traction control it's uh, impossible almost to ride on that stuff I really hate it it cuts out the power so once I turn the traction control out it's a totally different world the bike is actually manageable I still got the ABS I didn't turn the ABS off I didn't find the need for that but uh, the traction control it was big time in a way nice to update wife with the phone call but as soon as we got on that road there's like already 200 kilometers and we have no reception no signal whatsoever thanks god for the spot gps oh yeah yeah again that slick stuff this is not good going on the guy in front of me my bike is doing exactly the same thing on that slick stuff 90k actually wow asphalt we got asphalt tarmac woohoo unbelievable time to chill <laughs> like I said one day we have four seasons rain snow a good idea to bring the nice and warm sweatshirt underneath so I'm not cold feels great that's the main thing the heat warmers plus Oxford heated drips bravo so there we go we have arrived in the Rocky Mountain house it's a nice little town <laughs> We look like shit Alright, so it looks like we made it to Rocky Mountain House The bikes are nice and clean